Bag fuel, baby. A lot of my industry relationships actually started from them niggas not liking me. Most of them, Pusha T, Wale, have all dissed me. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, nah, T.I. didn't diss me, but that was on T.I.'s project where Pusha T dissed me. And now, me and Pusha talk on the phone mm. on some regular shit because they, un they you, see, you think one thing when you just see this name officially ice, all this shit, but when you realize, one, oh, he's not one of them. He actually goes outside. Like, I make the inside joke on the pod all the time, but I pop up everywhere by myself. Nigga, we was at, we was outside, me, you, and Ish. Yeah, yo, we, we was, we was wild by ourselves, and, and that's why I tell but niggas bro, too. I walk into the like, yo, there was a time <laughs> back in. This was when, like, I had Meek, Ross, Wale. The and this is when MMG first hit the scene. Them niggas hated my guts. I'm talking about, and you know, Meek was extra street then. Yeah. When we see this nigga, we fucking him up. This is what they said. He said he was extra street. Then he mm -hmm. was. No, because you know, Meek, 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 Meek was playing a different the street when he, when, 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 yeah. when he Meek first came out. Meek was going crazy. He, he was yeah. a different street when he And they wanted to make him. He was a Philly nigga. He was a Philly nigga when he first came out. And a lot of niggas that are extra street, they want to look for somebody to make an example out of so everybody else know don't play with me like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, them niggas wanted to catch me bad as hell. Meek had a show in New York. I'll never forget this. My homegirl used to work in Meek's camp. I went to the show Dolo. And I'm te she's on the stage. I'm right in the middle of the crowd. She's texting me like, we texting each other. She's like, nigga, you ain't here. You, didn't, you ain't that stupid. You know these niggas hate you. I said, nigga, I'm right here. He's like, you lying. I had a bottle of Patron. I took my phone, put the light behind it, and held it up like this so you could see me. <laughs> she was like, oh, shit. I'm like, bro, I, listen, because I've never disrespected you, you got mad because I said, Something about the Tupac back record. That's what all of that stems from. People don't really know where shit starts from. Mm -hmm. But what happens is when it blow up mm -hmm. and all you keep seeing is this name. See, I, with, with social media, Twitter in particular, this was the first time in a lot of artists' career that they got to see the negativity right in front of their face. In real time, too. Because you think about it. Prior to social media, you a rapper. All you ever see is your fans. Anywhere. You do a show, it's your fans. Occasionally somebody be like, yo, fuck you. Yeah, but, uh, but, yeah, that's, but, that's but, but you don't see it in numbers. You don't see it in mass. Mm -hmm. You do a show, it's your fans. You do a, 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 a book, a, a, a signing or something, meet and greet, it's your fans. You do an interview, they fans of you. You know, It's always been coddling. It's, you have never saw the other side of that. I never looked at it like that. And now social media comes, even fan mail, all of that stuff. Back then, it was, it was just, all positives. You yeah, never you saw the other side of it. If you did get mail, they would take it out. They, they would take it. You, they never you, you, you never saw it. You would never see that. Yeah, Somebody, your person would hand like, oh no, this is bad. But now, this is That's the fact. internet, and what happened was all of these managers and publicists and shit was running the artists saying, yo, you gotta get on Twitter. Why? That's the new shit. That's where you get with the fans at. Yep. My space is over with. You gotta get on Twitter. You gotta get on Twitter. Okay, cool. Let me go get a Twitter. I hate I you. Get, I go get a Twitter. <laughs> yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Your haircut is trash in yo, case nobody yo, told nigga, you. Nigga, who the fuck is you talking? Nigga, I'll fuck you. Where you at right now? Like, that's what started happening. Oh, I'm with That's you, girl. why in the early days, <laughs> yeah. them niggas was going crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now it became a, a niggas know how to deal with it, but you talk 08, 09, 2010, 11. Bro, niggas was going crazy. I remember a rapper used to, there was two strip clubs I used to frequent. Damn near, if it wasn't one, I was in the other one every night of the week in Jersey. I walked in the other joint, they was like, yo, the niggas just rode around looking for you. I'm like, what you mean? Like, yo, van pulled up, window went down, and said, yo, y'all know Ice? He in there? Like, these niggas was, a girl caught me and was like, yo, you working? I'm not gonna say the name of the camp, but she was like, yo, you working with uh, such and such? I was like, nah, why you say that? He said, nah, because um, nigga I know just walked up on me with your picture on his phone and was like, yo, you know him, right? I was like, yeah, that's my brother. He's like, yeah, well, we, uh, we doing some work with him. I'm trying to get, get in touch with him again on something. Can you give me his number? And she's like, it just sounded weird. So she played it off, but caught me like, yo, niggas is looking for you. Mm. Because it was that level of, we ain't never seen this before we, and, and we don't know how to do it. This is called disrespect. To them, that's disrespect. Yeah, yeah, this is disrespect. This is and, disrespect. I, and I want to go see who the fuck got the nerve behind yeah. this fucking Who was saying this? Like, say this I always shit. go back to the, the, the Mano situation in Short Hills Mall, where Mano was in Short Hills Mall. Shorty and her dude, just some chick, and her dude was in Short Hills Mall. 
she saw Mano and went on the, and on Twitter talking stupid. Just because you see the nigga. Over yeah. There. Not, Mano got a phone. Mano saw the, saw the tweets. And saw the big day, day in the mall. And saw them, right? Oh, they in here too. It's on right, camera. Now, now let's find them. And walked up to them and told dude, yo, she could have got you in some shit. Just because she over here thinking it's a game, but this could have went bad for you. We can't fuck her up, but you with her. This is a teachable moment here. Mm -hmm. That this could have went really bad for you if, if he was a different type of person. If he was the old Mano. Right. The old Mano would have scraped him. I think about the, the kids. Like I know it's a big running joke now. The kids that ran up to Joe's house where he chased them with the rocks and shit like that. If that's somebody else, that goes bad. That goes really bad for them kids. You came to my crib where I lay my head and y'all are doing this filming, putting it on the internet, that goes really bad for you. Again, people don't think, they just think, ha, 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 this is funny, not knowing that, yo, there's a lot, there's some, some consequences that come with a lot of this shit. But for me personally, rest in peace, K-Slay. i never forget, he, he, he tweeted this shit. I might could go find the old tweet. He was like, yo, one thing I gotta give you, I always see you outside in the hood, it's a spot, it's a dolo. You're not like the rest of them who just talk shit online. You actually come outside. That's a respect thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, I tell the story when I first met Mano, I didn't know how that was about to go. And I'm sitting in my head running it back. Like, damn, did I have a disrespect? I ain't, I ain't say nothing about his music. Let me make sure. Like, oh, this might go left. All right, let me plan this out. I got to hit somebody. That's all I was thinking in my head. I got to hit somebody. At least they're going to say, yo, he caught one. It wasn't even that. But I didn't know, like, it was just, uh, it could go either way. But I always carried myself that way, where it's like, I'm not disrespect. I'm not going to tell you, uh, call you the F-bomb or tell you to suck. I'm not doing none of that because I know what come with that. I'm not, I don't have a beef with none of you niggas. I will critique. But when it blows up so much and somebody else is, they'll get disrespectful, but you see my name. So I had to really... And then once I sit and have a conversation with a lot of these folks and they realize, yo, you're the same person online. You didn't switch up. See, that's another thing. A lot of people will be one way behind the phone, behind the screen, and then when you're in front of them, it's totally different. Right. I don't do that. Anything I've ever said on, on any of my socials or whatever or on any camera, if that person was to walk in this room right now, I could have a conversation about it and still say it. Yo, dog, I don't, I ain't disrespect you. I didn't like it because this, 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 and this. And I paid for it. I put my money where my mouth is with this hip hop shit. I buy. A lot of people don't. I, I still purchase. I purchase music. I go to shows. I purchase a shitload of merch every time I go somewhere. Like, I, I support. And at the same time, the artist that I will dish you if, if I say something is trash, I don't have to know you, be cool with you, like you, nothing. But I dish you or I dish the project, go put some heat out and watch what I do. You're going to turn it up the same way? Exact same way. I give the same energy, whether me and you cool or not. And if me and you are cool and you put some bullshit out, I'm going to treat it as if it's bullshit. Mm. I've right. had these conversations with people that I am... Jeezy is my favorite rapper of all time. That run he went on leading up to TM 103, I had four people from his camp on my phone like, yo, dog, you supposed to be this? How you saying it? Because y'all, look what y'all doing. And if I'm going to call somebody else out about it, I'm going to call y'all out about it too. Now, we cool. It's a respect thing. Yo, he just giving it up. And he's going to give it up like that for everybody. But you know these people want yes, man. I'm not talking I'm about not, Jeezy. I'm just, yes talking about the, I'm just talking about the creative force behind yeah, shit. Absolutely. People always want yes, man. Absolutely. And I always tell people, like, if you can't take the truth, like, we... Me and him started out from the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I asked him, like, yo, was I trash today? What happened? Right. What's going on? Like, every almost every day to this day still, I say, whether it's inside the car or it's after I get home and I'm smoking, I call Heineken up. I'm, I'll be scared to call Ghost because Ghost is just too blunt and his voice <laughs> is too low. He, he's bad blood and his voice is low. So he's like, what? It, it was tra it, it's trash. What? Yeah, it was it's trash. trash. Okay, so I, I, I don't want to hear that. Right, so right. I call him because right. he, he's blunt, but he understands uh, like it's little things about this game I, I, I still don't know. Mm -hmm. But I still want to know straight up. 
am I cutting niggas off? E- even when we was getting better. Ghost ain't tell us. Mm-hmm. I had to ask him one day, yo, why, why, why you don't do this no more? Oh, cause y'all, cause y'all niggas is better now. And I'm like, so you must be going word, nigga. Let me get that. Damn, <laughs> don't tell me. You ain't going to tell me I'm better. <laughs> like, what you talking You could have gave me that one though, yo, yo. I ain't gonna hold you. This last little stretch here, <laughs> nigga's been killing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, so, and, and because I'm the nigga that's going to call niggas like, yo, nigga, your outfit crazy. Mm-hmm. Yo, you can't show up like that, ghost, mm-hmm. you bugging. So I'm the motherfucker that's, that's going to say something. So I have to, I feel like I have to welcome that in. You got to. You have to. To myself You as have well. to, bro. You got to yeah. be able to take it.